All right, welcome and thanks for joining us. As you've probably heard by now, the rumours were confirmed last night. They are indeed true. Tommy Fury and Daniel Dubois are heading stateside for their next fights. They will feature as part of a huge Showtime pay-per-view in America, headlined by Jake Paul against Tyron Woodley. It's a fantastic opportunity to showcase their skills. With me, I have unbeaten light heavyweight prospect Tommy TNT Fury, who, as you've probably seen, has a, a little bit of a history with Jake Paul, uh, a, a developing history that we will talk about very shortly. WBA interim heavyweight champion Daniel Dubois is here. He'll be looking to make a, a big statement stateside. And, of course, the man who's pulled the strings, who's been making moves for many years, and he's made some more moves, Hall of Fame boxing promoter Frank Warren. Frank, let's, let, let's talk. How did this come about? Uh, it initially, well, it's two reasons. One, Showtime have been on to us constantly about Daniel coming to the States and making his debut. Uh, simultaneously, the situation that was going on with Jake Paul and Tommy, where he was calling him out, and Tommy called me and his dad, John, uh, a couple of months ago, saying, look, if you can make that fight, let's try and do it. And we sort of worked hard. And sort of... It basically all dovetailed into place. It seemed like a, a great idea to get them both on the card out there for two reasons. One, it's great exposure for both of them. And from Daniel's point of view, he, can, he breaks into the American market. And from Tommy's point of view, um, he can go and sit, I mean, he's, he's going to be sitting at the table with Jake Paul. He can't run away from him, can he? If they want this fight and Tommy does the business out there, there ain't nowhere to go. You know, you can't keep calling people out and not doing it. So it's something that I know Tommy wants badly. We'd like to see it. I'm not going to step in his way. I know I've made various comments over the years about uh, YouTubers who are YouTube fighters. I mean, I've got no problem with anybody who gets fit and well and goes into the, gets into a ring, and God bless them for doing so. But now is the time for fighters that I'm involved in promoting to capitalise on this, and this is a big chance for both of them, as I say, to make a statement increase their visibility in the States and uh, move forward, providing they do the business in August, the end of this month. Well, let's talk briefly about the platform. Showtime uh, have got a history of, of building stars. You look at what they're doing right now with Javonta Davis. Tremendous opportunity, Frank. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I'll go back a long time with Showtime, going back many, many years. You know, we brought uh, Nassim Hamid through on Showtime, Joe Kawasaki, many, many fighters, um, I started and uh, out there was uh, instrumental in helping to get the Showbox series going. Um, we were doing regular shows hit from here in the UK, which were being broadcast back there, and, and you know, Ricky Hatton, all these guys all, all featured on those shows. Um, this may be a chance now, and I hope it's going to be an opportunity for us to re-engage and do that. It, that they, they have a, a massive audience out there, um, and there will be a lot of eyeballs on this, on this show for, for the top of the bill reasons there's a lot of people who buy into him and this will attract i think a new audience for our, our two guys so they can see it, what, who's who there and you know with showtime we can keep doing what we're doing you know um, we can all our fighters all our youngsters coming through and some of our established stars are going to get another hopefully we'll get another platform so, so that people can see them we're well, just focusing on tommy briefly um you've said many a time that the fight with jake paul is one you'd make in a heartbeat. Yeah. Are, you, are you surprised that it actually seems to be coming together somewhat? They're boxing on the same show now. They're going to be around each other in fight week. Well, it depends. It's, it's, you know, as long as, you know, my, in a heartbeat for me, but it's, it's providing other people have got the heart to make it happen. I know Tommy wants it, and we will make it, and we will, we will force the issue at the end of the day. You know, Tommy's uh, in with Anthony Taylor, who spars with with Jake, mm -hmm. so maybe they're using that as a bit of a litmus test, so I think Tommy's got a situation there maybe where they think, well, let's test the water with him, with Tommy, see what Tommy does with him, so he, can, he may be, he, he, what you don't want to do, Tommy, you don't want to put too much of a good performance in, because they may, <laughs> may scare him off, but um, look, it's, it's a fight that, for Tommy, is a big money fight, a great opportunity for him, and you know, who is anyone to stand in his way of that? Mm -hmm. That's a fab it's a fabulous opportunity for him. And the recognition that he'll get from the, that, that audience, which is a different audience than the boxing audience, will be, will be brilliant for him. And obviously Daniel holds the WBA interim 
heavyweight championship. Yep. Trevor Bryan is, is the world title holder above him. Is this a, a part of a grand plan to get him that US exposure, build towards a fight with Trevor Bryan? Yeah, I mean, he's fighting a guy in Joe uh, Cusimano who's undefeated, uh, sorry, is, has never been stopped. So, again, he can go out there and make a statement. You know, Daniel's capable of doing that. Uh, it's not like he, when he fights anybody, he, he, he's out there feeling him out. He's always looking to land his bombs and he's explosive. And as much as the Brits like that, the Americans like, like it as well. So, again, he can make a, a real good statement there on the night. And